Hello everyone, welcome to our grade 10 mathematics lesson and we are now on our first quarter week number 5 and this is actually part 2 of our week number 5 application of sequences and my name is Flora May A. Lauta and I will be your teacher for today. Before we start, please prepare the following your grade 10 module, paper, ball pens, calculator and class objectives for today's lesson it are recall different concepts learned and patterns and sequences name other forms of sequences analyze different problems related to sequences and also you are going to solve real life problems involving sequences so again our lesson for today is about application of sequences and that is most essential learning competency number seven solves problems involving sequences the concepts and keywords that we are going to de deal with today are harmonic sequence fibonacci sequence arithmetic sequence and arithmetic means geometric sequence and geometric means and series okay so let's start with harmonic sequence so um, in the past, you were able to um, learn about geometric and arithmetic sequence. So today, we will learn uh, two more kinds of sequences. So we have here harmonic sequence. It says it is a sequence such that the reciprocal of the, of the terms form an arithmetic sequence. So madali lang po, ibig sabihin... Yung arithmetic sequence, kukunin mo lang yung reciprocal ng bawat term. For example, meron ka arithmetic sequence na 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, ang reciprocal ng 1 is 1 over 1, which is 1. Yan. And then, reciprocal ng 2 is 1 over 2. So, 1 half. Reciprocal ng 3 is 1 over 3. And reciprocal ng 4 is 1 over 4. And 5 is 1 over 5. And so on. So, yan. Nakikita mo. Ang 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth ay reciprocal ng, reciprocal ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is an arithmetic sequence. Kaya, ito po ay tinatawag nating harmonic. And then, number 2. 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 sixth, 1 eighth, 1 tenth. A reciprocal of numbers 2. 4, 6, 8, and 10. So, ang 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, alam natin na ito ay isang arithmetic sequence. Diba? Kasi nga, we are adding 2 to each term. So, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus uh, 2, 8 plus 2, 10. Okay? Ganun lang po. And then, another form of sequence is the Fibonacci sequence. It is a sequence where its first two terms are either both 1 or 0 and 1. So, pwedeng nag-start siya sa 1 and 1 or 0 and 1. And then, each term thereafter is obtained by adding the two preceding terms. So, yeah, add mo lang yung naunang two terms. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 2 plus 3 is 5. Ganun lang, katulad nito. And then, kung mag-start siya sa 0, so 0 plus 1, magiging 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, and so on. Okay po. And then, we also have another example here. 13, 21, 34. 13 plus 21 is 34. So, 21 plus 34, that is 50, ilan? 55, right? Okay, so this this one is called the part of Fibonacci. So, part siya ng Fibonacci sequence. Kasi, um, if you go on with this, like for example, this one, 3 plus 5 magiging 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. Okay, Mag magkakontinue siya. And then, we also have what we call the Fibonacci-like. Fibonacci-like. Um, hindi siya nagsistart sa 0 and 1 Pero Nag-add siya ng mga terms Okay, so for example Meron kang 2 tapos 5 
So, yan yung first term mo. Uh, first two terms mo. 2 plus 5. Magiging 7. 5 plus 7, magiging 12. Uh, 7 plus 12, 19 and so on. So that is what we call the Fibonacci like. Though hindi siya again it starts sa 1 and 1 and 0 and 1, pero you are adding the terms um the two the first two terms of the sequence para makukuha mo yung mga susunod na terms. Okay? Okay, so we have an exercise here. Let's see whether you know the difference between arithmetic um, geometric, harmonic, or Fibonacci sequences. Okay, so you, let's just identify them. So, number one, we have one third, one ninth, one twenty seventh, one eighty one. So, what is the answer? So, this one is geometric because our common ratio is one third. So, we are just multiplying it by one third and so on. Okay, number two, twenty one, thirty four, fifty five, ninety four. That is. Fibonacci. Yes, we are just adding the terms, uh, the first two terms to get the next term. Okay, number 3, 124th, 120th, 116th, 112th. What is this? Okay, so this one is a harmonic sequence. So why harmonic? Because the reciprocal of this um, sequence is 24. 20, 16, and 12, which is an arithmetic sequence having a common difference of 4. Negative 4, sorry. And then number 4, we have 6, negative 18, 54, negative 162. That is geometric. And the common ratio here is, yes, negative 3. And then number 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55 is, okay, very obvious, that is part of Fibonacci sequence. Okay, very good. Problem solving time. So now we are going to solve different problems involving sequences. Okay, so let's have number 1. Problem number one. What is the nth term of the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11? So, madali lang po, hinahanap lang natin yung ating nth term or yung ating general term or our a sub n. So, yung iba, mas madali nilang intindihan, maintindihan kapag sinabi mong hinahanap natin yung formula kay layman's term. Pero, ang tawag talaga sa kanya is the nth term or the general term. So, first, you have to identify whether 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 is an arithmetic or arithmetic or ge geometric or Fibonacci or harmonic. So, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 is arithmetic. ba? So, dahil arithmetic siya, dapat may common difference siya at ang common difference ay positive 2. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7 and so on. So, since arithmetic siya, gagamitan natin siya ng formula ng arithmetic which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Tapos, um, lagay lang natin yung mga given. We have a sub 1 which is the first term, 3. And then yung n, so wala tayong n, minus 1. And then d is the common difference which is positive 2. So you have 3 plus, tapos distribute mo lang yung 2 dyan, yan, tapos multiply mo, so 2 times n is 2n, and then negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, right? And then combine like terms, 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 2n. So therefore, a sub n, arrange lang natin, based sa variable, we have 2n plus 1. So that's the final answer. Okay. Okay, number two. What is the nth term of the sequence negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 1? So, pareho lang yun kanina, but the difference is our given, which is negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1 is a geometric sequence. Diba? Obvious na obvious, geometric. And the common ratio is 
negative 1. So, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 1. So, dahil siya ay geometric, gagamitan din natin ang formula ng geometric, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. At yung a sub 1 natin ay eto, negative 1. Tapos yung r mo is negative 1 to the power of n minus 1. And then negative 1 times negative 1. Anong gagawin natin dito sa to the power of n minus 1? Okay. Dito, gagamitan natin siya nung property of exponent. Where a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the m over a to the positive n. So, naging, yung minus naging positive na siya. Okay? So, ano mangyayari dito? Magiging negative 1 to the power of n divided by ito, pareho lang, negative 1 to the power of 1. So, yan po. At ito po yun. Okay? So, meron ka ng negative 1 times Yan, ganyan din natin para hindi kayo nalilito. So, negative 1 times negative 1 to the power of n. So, ano yung negative 1 to the power of 1? Negative 1. Right? So, negative 1. So, pwede na natin itong mat matanggal kasi pareho silang negative 1. So, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1. So, wala na siya. Ang matitira na lang is negative 1 to the power of n. Which is our a sub n. So, meron na tayong nth term. Which is a sub n is equal to negative 1 to the power of n. Kapag itetest mo siya, ang n mo ay 1. Magiging negative 1 to the power of 1 is equal to negative 1. a sub 2 is a sub uh, negative 1 to the power of 2 is equal to positive 1. A sub 3 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 3. That is negative 1. Okay? So, yan lang po. Yan. Nakuha na natin. Okay. So, let's proceed. Number 3. How many terms are in an arithmetic sequence? Whose first term is 3, common difference is 2, and last term is 23. Okay. So, ang tanong dito, what is being asked here is the number of terms, right? Number of terms. And then, meron tayong given a first term, which is a sub 1, and that is 3. Common difference is 2. And then, last term, a sub n is 23. So, again, ang tanong is how many terms, which is the number of terms, and that is our n. Okay? So, ano yung n natin? So, to solve this, we are going to use the formula of arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Okay? And then our given, we have a sub n, which is 23, a sub 1, which is 3, plus n, we don't know, n minus 1 times d, which is 2. So, yan, meron na tayong 23 equals 3 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times 2. Tapos, yung 3, lipat natin dito, transpose, tapos magiging negative 3 is equal to n minus 1 times 2. Okay? Tapos, 23 minus 3 is 20, which is n minus 1 times 2. Tapos, divide natin both sides by 2. Ayan, mawawala na yung 2 dito. Ito, divided by 2. So, 20 divided by 2 is 10 is equal to n minus 1. So, balik ta rin lang natin. n minus 1 is equal to 10. So, n is equal to, lipat natin yung 1 doon, magiging 10 plus 1. So, n is equal to 11. So, therefore, n the number of terms in this sequence is 11. Okay? What is the arithmetic mean between x and y? So, this is our number 4 question. So, ito po, 
to solve this very it's very easy so remember sa ating um, arithmetic sequence lesson i think that was week number 2 kapag meron tayong dalawang meron tayong dalawang terms yung gitna noon ay ang tinatawag na arithmetic mean so this one iisang mean lang or isang arithmetic lang yung hinahanap so meron tayong x and then ano to okay that is the arithmetic mean and then y so remember um, when we have um, three terms and then given yung first and last to get the arithmetic mean we are just going to add the first and the last term divided by 2 and that will be our arithmetic mean okay so x plus y divided by 2 hindi na natin siya mas simplify so therefore the arithmetic mean the arithmetic mean is x plus y divided by 2 diba ganun lang po Number 5, find the value of y if the number is 2y plus 1, 3y plus 4, and 7y plus 6 form a geometric sequence. So, ito po, uh, para masolve natin, we are just going to use the concept of the common ratio. Okay, remember, our common ratio, uh, ratio between terms dito should be equal. So, meron tayong, remember, sa common ratio, that is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. So, ganun lang po ang gagawin natin to solve this the value of y here. So, paano natin isa-solve? Remember, this is a sub 1, a sub 2, and this is a sub 3. Diba? So, solve natin. Uh, a, sub one, ay, a sub 2 mo ay 3y plus 4 divided by a sub 1 which is 2y plus 1 equals a sub 3 is 7y plus 6 divided by a sub a sub 2 which is 3y plus 4 and then after that just cross multiply yan cross multiply mo lang meron ka na 3y plus 4 divided by uh, times pala 3y plus 4 is equal to 7y plus 6 multiplied by 2y plus 1. So, 3y plus 4, 3y plus 4, uh, 3y plus 4 times 3y plus 4, you can just use the FOIL method. So, ito, 3y times 3y is 9y squared. And then, ano yun? 3y times 4 is positive 12y tapos yung nasa gitna plus 12y and then yung nasa the, uh, last so 16 and then same with the other one 7, 7y times 2y is 14y and then dun sa kabila naman 7y tapos itong gitna is 12y tapos 6 times 1 is 6 Okay, so combine like terms, we have 9y squared plus 24y plus 16, tapos 14, eh, squared to ha, kasi yan, dalawang y. 14y squared plus 7y plus 12y is 19y plus 6. Tapos lipat natin dito sa kabila lahat para makombine natin. So, 9 y squared, lipat natin si 14y, magiging negative na siya ngayon. Tapos, meron tayong 24y, lipat natin si 19, magiging negative. And then, plus 16, tapos si 6, magiging negative, equals 0. So, tinanggalan natin dito sa kabila, si 0 na siya. So, 9y minus 14y, that is uh, negative diba? negative 5y squared 24y minus 19y is positive 5y tapos 16 minus 6 is positive 10 equals 0 tapos we can divide it by a common factor which is 5 or gawin natin negative okay 
So now, that's negative 5y squared plus 5y plus 10, div um, all divided by negative 5. So negative 5 divided by 5, negative 5 is positive 1. So that's y squared. 5 divided by negative 5 is negative 1. So that's y. Tapos, ne 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. Tama? Equals 0. So, meron tayong y squared minus y minus 2 equals 0. So, factor out lang natin. So, meron tayong y squared. Factors ng y squared is y and y. Factors ng 2 is 2 and 1. Diba? And then, since negative siya, negative 2, so that means positive and negative 2, positive and negative silang dalawa. At negative yung gitna, so yung mas malaki ang gagawin mong negative. Okay? So, getting the value of y, we have y plus 1 equals 0. And y minus 2 equals 0. y is equal to, lipat yung, yung, yung 1, magiging negative 1. And then, y is equal to, lipat yung negative 2, magiging 2. So, therefore, the values of y are numbers negative 1 and positive 2. Okay. Number 6, the second term of an arithmetic sequence is 24. And the fifth term is 3. Find the first term and the common difference. Okay. So, you, we have the given, which is the second term. And that is A sub 2. And A sub 2 is 24. And then, fifth term, which is A sub 5. And that is 3. And we are asked to find the first term, which is a sub 1. Yan, hindi natin alam. And then the common difference. Okay, ano daw yung common difference? Okay, so paano yan? Again, guys, we are going to use the formula for arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus um, n minus 1 times the common difference, d. Yung a sub n natin... Ito, given. Pero man, paano yan? A sub 1 yung given, pero meron lang akong A sub 2. So, madali lang po. mag adjust ka lang. So, atras ka para meron, magkakaroon ka ng A sub 1. Diba? At dahil inatras mo yung A sub 2 mo para maging A sub 1, atras mo rin yung A sub 5 mo at gagawin mo siyang A sub 4. So, now, yung A sub n mo ay magiging A sub 4 at meron ka ng A sub 1 plus at yung n mo ay 4 minus 1 times d. Right? So, now, a sub 4 is 3. And then, your a sub 1, your a sub 1 is 24, plus 4 minus 1 is 3. And then, common difference, which is unknown. So, solve na natin. So, 3 transpose magiging negative 24 equals 3d. So, negative uh, 3 minus 24 is negative, negative 21 equals 3D. And then multiply both sides by 3. So now we have negative 21 divided by 3. That is negative 7. That is our D. Right? So now we have our D as negative 7. So, negative 7. At hahanapin na lang natin yung a sub 1. So, remember kanina, meron tayong uh, a sub 2, which is, ano yun? 24. So, ano yung a sub 1? At dahil yung d natin ay negative 7, so, pag pumunta tayo doon, nagma-minus tayo. So, pag bumalik tayo dito, yung a sub 1 natin ay magpa plus 7 ka. So, 24 plus 7 is 31. Diba? 31. Or, we can also use the formula D is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. So, A sub 2 mo is 24 minus A sub 1. And then, yung D mo is negative 7. So, negative 7, lipat mo yung 24 doon, magiging negative 24 equals negative a sub 1. So, negative 7 minus 24 is negative 31. 
So, negative a sub 1. So, yung a sub 1 mo para maging positive ay gagawin mong uh, multiply mo by negative both sides. So, magiging positive a sub 1 is equal to positive 31. So, ganun lang po. Pwedeng mano-mano or using the formula. Okay. Okay, let's consider this problem. You started a business that sold 250,000 worth of beauty products during its first year. You have set a goal of increasing the annual sales by 50,000 each year. Assuming that this goal is met, what is the sales during 10th year of your business operation? So, paano natin isosolve to? So, let's find the given first. Ang sabi dito, meron kang business. Tapos, sa first year niya, nakabenta ka ng 250,000. So, yung first year mo will be our A sub 1. Diba? And that is 250,000. 250, and then, you have set a goal of increasing the annual sales by 50,000 each year. So, gusto mo na mag-increase every year ng 50,000. So, since every year yan na increase, uh, that will become your common difference. So, that's 50,000. Okay, ma'am, bakit hindi siya common ratio? Kasi nga, sabi niya, mag increase ka lang ng 50,000. Hindi naman siya nagsabi na mag-multiply ka ng 50,000 each year, ba? Increase. So, that means we are using arithmetic here. And then, assuming that this goal is met, what is the sales during 10th year of your business operation? So, ano, magkano daw yung pang 10th year? So, yung 10th year is your A sub 10. Diba? And to solve that, again, using the formula of the arithmetic sequence, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference D. At yung A sub n mo is A sub 10. Diba? Yan yun is equal to A sub 1, which is 250,000 plus yung N is 10 minus 1, and then yung D is 50,000. So, 250,000 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 50,000. Okay? And then, and then, Ano nang mangyayari? We have um, 250,000 plus 9 times 50,000 is 450,000. Tapos add mo sila, ang total ay 700,000. So, A sub 10 mo is 700,000. So, therefore, therefore, the sales during the 10th year is 700,000. So, 10th year, sales, 10th year sales mo is 700,000 pesos. Diba? Okay. Any questions? None? Let's go. Okay, number 8. Xander grows strawberries in the first year, he planted 5 seeds. On the fourth year, he planted 135 seeds. Assuming the number of seeds he planted each year formed a geometric sequence, how many seeds did he plant on the third year? Okay, so sabi dito, nagplant daw si Xander ng strawberry, tapos on the first year, on the first year, which is our A sub 1, nagplant siya ng 5 seeds. Tapos nung fourth year, that is A sub 4, ay meron na siyang 135 seeds. Seeds, diba? And then, assuming the number of seeds he planted each year formed a geometric sequence, ilan daw yung seeds na na-plant niya sa uh, third year? Okay, so ilan daw yun? So, to, to solve this, we are going to use the concept of geometric mean. So, meron kang A sub 1, which is 5, and then uh, A sub 2, and then A sub 3, Tapos yung A sub 4 mo is 135. So, to solve that, hanapin muna natin yung common ratio. And to solve common ratio, let's use the formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. Okay? And then, A sub n mo is A sub 4. 
ito, which is 135. And then A sub 1 mo is 5. And then your R. And then your N is 4. This is your N minus 1. So, 135 is equal to 5 um, times R to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3. And then, multi uh, multiply. Divide both sides by 5. Yan. So, 135 divided by 5 is 27. Diba? And then, that is your R cube. Tapos, kailangan natin R lang. So, tatanggalin natin tung cube na to. So, para matanggal, let's get the cube root of each side. Okay? Yan. So, wala na yung, ano, meron na lang tayong R is equal to uh, cube root of 27. So, what is R? What is cube root of 27? That's 3. So, therefore, how many seeds the, uh, no, uh, common ratio pa pala yun. So, how many seeds did you plant on the third year? Multiply lang natin to by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45. So, therefore, our A sub 3 now is equal to 45. So, the answer to the question, how many seeds did he plant on the third year? Is there are 45 seeds. Okay. Okay, so number nine, Carl bought a car for 875000 Assuming the value of the car depreciates at 10% of its value every year, what is its value after five years? Okay, so how are we going to solve this? So let's find the given first. We have A sub 1. A sub 1, which is 875000 so, yan yung price ng car, nung unang bili. And then, depreciate sa 10%. So, nababawas daw yung value niya ng 10% every year. So, yan yung magiging common ratio natin. Kasi, uh, magiging 1 minus 10% at that will be 0 0.9. Ma'am, bakit nag 1 minus 10% ka? Kasi, nagtanggal tayo ng 10% out of the, the the full value every year. So, magiging 0.9 na siya. Okay? What is its value after 5 years? Yan yung magiging A sub 5 natin na hindi natin alam. So, that is in question. So, to solve this, using the formula A sub N is equal to A sub 1 to the power of R. I know, times R to the power of N minus 1. So, A sub N mo is A sub 5. And then, A sub 1 is 875,000 times R, which is 0.9 to the power of N minus 1. So, N mo is 5 minus 1. So, that will be 875,000 times 0.9 to the power of 4. So, 875,000 times, ano yung 0.9 to the, 0.90 to the power of 4. So, that will be 0.6561. And then, multiplied by 875,000, the answer will be 574,000. 87.50 so that is a sub 5 so the answer to the question what is the value after 5 years so the answer here is 574 87.50 pesos okay okay number 10 during a free fall, a skydiver falls 1,000 feet every 60 so uh, 6 seconds. After 60 seconds, the skydiver deployed his, this is his, parachute. Okay, how many feet did the skydiver free fall before he deployed his parachute? So, yan. Alam ko, alam niyo na yung sagot kasi uh, sa 1,000 feet, 
1,000 feet. Meron kang naabot mo yan in 6 seconds. So, after 60 seconds, ilan? Meron ka dapat 10,000 feet. So, nag-multiply nag ka lang ng 10 para makamay yung 60. So, multiply mo lang din to ng 10. So, the final answer is is 10,000 feet. That's it. Okay, so that's all for today. And just to summarize our class lesson, uh, we were able to recall different concepts learned and patterns and sequences while uh, solving the different problems and then name other forms of sequences. So we were able to to um, learn about harmonic and Fibonacci sequence. And also, you, we were able to analyze different problems and then solve real-life problems involving sequences okay so before i let you go i just want to leave you this message about self-love to fall in love with yourself is the first secret to happiness and this is from robert morley and thank you so much for attending guys see you next time and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos have a great day bye